court obviously a tight defensive game at the outset of this thing, but it broke open in the third period. What changed? Anyway, Gordo. Well, I think uh, the execution probably got a lot better as, as the game went on. It seemed like, uh, especially in the second period, it really got bogged down, especially in the neutral zone. Both teams, uh, you know, and I guess you give a credit to both teams who defensively they weren't getting caught. There wasn't a whole lot of odd man rushes. Uh, so, you know, it was a matter of just staying with it, being patient, and finding a way to break through it uh, eventually. And, uh, you know, we, we got down, we killed some penalties, a lot of penalties there tonight, and it kind of took us out of our flow that way too. Some guys were sitting on the bench for long periods of time. and. So when we finally got into the five-on-five five flow, I think that uh, benefited us. One of the things the Marlies, of course, over the time uh, has been, it, they've taken penalties. And, and, but it has seemed like the amount of penalties that have gone their way over the course of the season has been almost beyond anything the opposition is getting. Does it feel that way, or is it true? <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to get me in trouble. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah, it, 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 tonight I, I felt like there was, uh, you know, a lot of uh, gray area type calls that uh, didn't go our way and, and hopefully uh, uh, it's a long season and, and things uh, sort of go cyclical that way and, and we'll find a way to get those calls going our way. Nice to see uh, Brandon Cozen finish out his stint here with a goal and, and T talk a little bit, I guess, about the energy that he brought to this club over the three games. Well, you know, his speed adds a dimension to our team that, uh, you know, to, to most teams. Not too many guys uh, have the speed that he possesses. And, and uh, you know, I, I think he's a guy that, you know, teams have to adjust to him just because of that. And, and uh, um, you know, he possesses the skill to, to make plays at that speed too. So, um, you know, hopefully he goes up and carries that, uh, you know, that, that kind of uh, puck possession. And, and, and you know certainly with the, the penalty kill, he'll add to what the Leafs are doing. Antoine Bebo gets one here tonight. Nice to see the young goaltender finally pick up a win. It's been a while, and uh, does it does it speak to his confidence or maybe even his patience that he he performed so well tonight? Well, especially for a young guy, patience is uh, you know it's not always their forte. It's uh, being patient, waiting your turn, and, and uh, he, he's been a real good soldier, a good teammate, and uh, he's worked hard in practice. And, and you know, we haven't scored a lot of goals for him in uh, the games previous, so it was good to see him uh, hang in there and find a way to get a win.